how to download Rhino 7 for free. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using the Mac version, but the exact same technique will work for Windows. We're gonna to go to the Rhino downloads page. The link will be in the description. So the way we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be using a free trial. I use this for the whole of my university period and it's really good if you're a student because you might not be able to afford the software. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be clicking on login or create a Rhino account to download. You're then going to open the second link in the description, which will be temp mail. And what this will do is it will generate you a temporary email that you can press this button and click copy to clipboard. We're going to go to Rhino accounts. And what we're going to do is we're going to press create new account at the bottom. And we're going to paste in this email here. Now, Rhino does also require you to have a valid phone number. So we're going to go to this second link in the description called temporaryphonenumber.com and we're just gonna copy one of these phone numbers. As you can see, I've copied it to clipboard and we're also gonna enter that into our Rhino account. Then we can make up a name. We're gonna hit create account and we're gonna go back to temp mail and we should get a link pop through in this inbox. There you go. We're gonna click on this link and what now this will override your temp mail, so what I would recommend is right click this link and open in a new tab. It should now say login link successfully validated, go back to the original tab. And if we go back to our original tab, we now have a Mac license key to install. We're going to copy this link. And we're going to click download now. Now I'll let this download and we'll come back once it's downloaded. So we're back, my download is finished as you can see. I'm gonna click on it. And on Mac, you have to drag into your applications folder. And then we're gonna close this. I'm gonna let this copy across and then we're gonna open Rhino up. Now, as you can see, we get this pop-up saying getting license manager. This will also be the same as Windows. Give it a moment to update. If it doesn't, we're gonna manually enter the information and the account we've just created. Now, we get this pop-up asking us to enter our email. Unfortunately, you can't copy and paste in here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the email that we have on temp email. and we're gonna hit continue. <clears throat> now it should be able to discover your license from this, but if not, what we'll do is we'll paste in the license we code we were just given by Rhino. It has already found it, and what we can do is we can hit enter a license key. We will go back to the Rhino link where we were given our code, and we're gonna copy this again, and then we're gonna paste it into Rhino. We're going to hit continue. Now we have two options you've got ready to assign. What you can do is you can float the license between computers. Now what this means is the license will be tied to the account itself. So what you can do is if you want to log in on another computer, you just use that account and it will be valid for both. Or if you only have one computer, you can lock it to the computer. I'm going to lock it to this computer because I have no other devices I would use right now on. It will ask you to input some information. You can skip this in the bottom left and you can hit continue. And there we have it. Our validation is complete and we should be able to open right now. You will now see it has validated the account and we can open any template that's blank. And here we have Rhino. So guys, if you found this video helpful and you have a friend that might be struggling with something similar, please make sure to recommend the channel to them. Hopefully they'll find it helpful as well. Take it easy guys, I'll catch you in another video.